Hi guys, it's Grace, back with another video. If this is your first time seeing my face, hearing my name, or stumbling upon this channel, welcome to the fam. However, if you are a returning subscriber, then you already know the vibes. Thank you for tuning in for another video. Have you guys missed me? Because I've missed you guys. This year, the music hasn't been musicking. And it's like, so everyone's just gonna drop a tour at the same time, but nobody wants to drop any music. Make it make sense, but, this week, some heat really did drop this week, but I am getting ready to go on a trip. So I've been at work every single day, so I couldn't record videos for everything. I had to pick one project to react to from this weekend or like one drop to react to. It has to be Keitra Mine because Keitra Nada and Amine. That, that's crazy. The cover? Crazy. So I'm just knowing that this is about to slide. I love Amine. I think Amine is very underrated. I don't know how he's so underrated after all this time, but Maybe this will be the project where people like actually start tapping into him because he's really talented. And obviously, you know, Keitronada is Keitronada. I'm not going to do too much chit chatting. We're just going to get right on into the video. Okay, this is a relatively short project. There are 11 songs and it's 34 minutes. People should really follow this recipe for collab projects. If people are going to keep pumping out these collab projects that we didn't ask for, the least you could do is make it a few songs and make it short. First song is called Who He Is. Okay, now it's gonna go so crazy on these beats. Okay, that was a very solid intro. I love how Amine raps, the way he flows, the word choice he uses. I like how he brought up their little, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Their name, like their duo name. Is there a term for that? Okay, I can't think of it right now, but he was like, Keisha Mine do this, Keisha Mine like this, Keisha Mine, Keisha Mine. It just let the people know. In case you forgot, you know who you're listening to. That was fire. That was just like, that was just a, that was just a good song. Like good vibes, good rapping. Keisha Nada went crazy on the production. Like who's surprised? Amine's real name is Adam. His middle name is really Amine. Okay. Okay, this is the next song. This is called Let's Talk About It. Fire. Two for two. I forgot Freddie Gibbs was on the song. Sorry. So yes, this is the song with Freddie Gibbs. Spready Gibbs. <laughs> Despite Freddie Gibbs' antics in real life, he can rap his ass off. And you can debate with your mom about that one. We have to separate the art from the artist when it comes to Freddie Gibbs every time. Because every time he eats, he doesn't miss. Features his own songs. The way he just floated on that beat was crazy. What? And the chemistry? I'm convinced that Keitronada could work with anyone. Cause like, this is just not something that I would think would happen. Well, I mean like maybe because Keitronada really do be surprising me with the people that he collabs with. I'm normally like anti features on collab albums sometimes because if it's too long and then you throw a feature in there, it's just like, mm. but if it's a short, sweet to the point, then I don't mind. This was a very good choice of a feature artist for a song. The third song is called, it's called Forever. That's the best song so far. Like it just keeps getting, it has gotten better. Like the first song was great. Second song was better. And this song is better than, wow. I will cry right now. I love having a diverse music taste because I know for a fact that there's somebody out here with the, like the mental capacity of that small square that's calling this trash. Because all you listen to is trap, babe. You have no diversity in your playlist. You can't appreciate art like this because this is art. Real music. Okay, moving on to the next song. This is West Side. Oh, I'm scared. Yeah. Left my commitment in the world. 
Drew Barrymore? Drew Barrymore? I got the juice. He's got the juice. I got the juice. He's got the juice. Shot it too extra. Amex call. Unlimited limit. The white test up. Mixed to get sweet, but this ain't no pudding. My twins look like Tia Tavera. Tia Tavera. There's no way that's the end of the song. Hard. Like, Amina's bars be so clever sometimes. Let's just go through and really just... The way he flowed on the beat was already crazy. But literally, like, came out the gate. This drink got me moving my jaw like I'm Drew. Bury more drinks in my stomach. Oh, pool. But it's like, when you think about it, like, that's really crazy. But then he said, like, Drew Barrymore because, you know, she used to be outside. But then it's like... Barry, but Barry, like Barry, more drinks in my stomach. A pool. Amazing. Also, saying 5K for your suit, but it ain't even suiting you is kind of crazy because it's like you spent all that money on this suit and you still look a fucking mess. We're not even halfway through. And this is the vibe I need for the summer. They drop this just in time. Because catch me on the way to the functions all summer. No cap. This is the next song. This is called Master P. Daddy don't care of any of these children because Eddie Murphy was in Daddy Daycare. Oh, this is a song with Big Sean. I'm sorry, y'all. I cannot see the features. The features, like, it doesn't show it on the track, and then, like, if you could see what I can see, like it doesn't say. Cause maybe it would show it if it doesn't say Katrina, Amine, Katrinata, then whoever the feature is on the under the track title. I anyway, now that I know this is the song with Big Sean, sorry. I heard Big Sean floated on this, so I'm gonna run the verse back a little bit. So I could really lock in. Because Big Sean be pissing me off sometimes, but Every now and then he'll sprinkle it in that he still got it. So let's see what he does. Bro, the credits, first of all, before we even get to the song, the credits on the song, like, will really be killing me because Sean Michael Leonard Anderson, Leonard. I love when I'm not disappointed by Big Sean. Cause there was a point in time, Big Sean was one of my favorite rappers. And then, don't shoot me for saying this. Really, ever since he, him and Janae got super serious, his music has just kinda. And I'm willing to argue with whoever in the comments about it. Okay, cause it's just been a clear decline. But if he could make a project with him just barring up, like going crazy, like a little EP, no, like, not like the EP he dropped with Hit Boy, but like an EP of him just rapping, rapping his ass off like this. I think he could redeem himself in the public eye and he wouldn't get dragged so much on Twitter. But then like, leave the alphabet rhymes at home. Like we just, it is just corny now, um, Mr. Anderson. So if you could just do that for the from now on, then you know, we'd be back locked in. Okay, and I, I can really try to forgive you for the mid that has been put out over the past couple years. Thanks. The chemistry, the chemistry was good. The way he just came in after Amine, Amine slid too, but then just the way he came in and over, uh, Kitchen is a genius. Put some respect on his name because this project is so good. So far, like I, I can't believe it. Like I can't believe it, but I'm just like, oh. Yes, because I need something to obsess over. Like, a new, a new album to obsess over. I've been playing her loss. Still. Still got me. But this one, this is really about to have me. All summer. <laughs> okay. We're going on to the next song. This is Rebuke. Oh, this is going to be one of those songs. Let me get myself together. The court court needs. Got this a divorce scene. My mother might hurt me to see it with someone else. But I know moving on is better than well that was beautiful 
Why was it so short? If that would have been a full song, that would have been a banger. I mean, it's still a banger regardless, but like <laughs> the vocals were vocaling. That was, that was beautiful. Very honest, very vulnerable. And you know, every project needs a little deep cut. The next song is called Salsa Up. I'm assuming that's how you say it because I'm looking at the lyrics on the TV and it says Salsa Up. So I'm assuming Salsa Up. There's a feature on this one because I just looked on my phone. I don't know how to pronounce the name, so I'm not gonna say it. I wanna say Amari, Amari, I don't know. But yes, this is the song. Play. <laughs> Like party next door here, low key. Oh wow. Oh. That's another good song. Probably my least favorite of all of the ones that I've heard. But I mean, I, I still enjoyed the song. It was a nice little vibe. Sometimes you just gotta sauce your sauce your girl up. Sometimes you just got to. Sometimes you know, you just feel like reread. Re, you gotta ponder replay. You know, like this is SCFU3. Okay, mood. Oh, I feel like I mean it's gonna go so stupid on this. Like I don't know. I just I'm getting a vibe that he's about to like go crazy. No name to say, it's really we going to fuck up. Niggas talking shit and then they turn this face to your snatches and your ass to your guns. Tipsy hair chunk, so I think he had chunk. I'm leaning, leaning, leaning in the well. I don't don't care. You stupid motherfucker, I've been cute since a kid. Type of face your mama wanna stick on the fridge. I don't really give a fuck. No name to say, it's really we going to fuck up. Pussy, 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 shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. That would have been cool. They probably would have had to pay a lot of money to get that cleared though. Another hard song. He was popping his shit. He was going crazy. He asked nicely. Please shut the fuck up. That sounds like one of those beats. That sounds like something that would be in a cypher. That just sounds like something you would freestyle over. If I could rap, I would get the instrumental to this and just bar up on it. Oh my god. I'm sorry, y'all. I keep looking at this cover art. Like, this cover art is so fire. Like... They just look like two cool, two cool ass dudes. Amine is so cool. Like, I want to be his friend. Every time I listen to his music, I'm like, I bet he's cool to hang out with. I feel like I only have like three songs left. I do. I have three songs. That's crazy. And then we have two of the longest songs coming up and then one super short song. So the next song is called Ugh, Ugh. Definitely going on the playlist. I love when rappers take current trends and sayings or something and then they use it for content in their music only when it's not cringy and corny. Like the Will Smith jokes, like sometimes it's like, oh, okay, we get it. Cause you know, Will Smith slapped Chris Rock and then Chris Rock, everybody hates Chris. And then, you know, everybody's gonna hate us like Chris after you a slap in the face like Will, like. And then the whole lyric about like, you give her the ick. Cause it really just be like that. <laughs> and it wasn't cringy, it wasn't corny. It was like the perfect use of it because He's probably speaking some real facts. Next song is called I. I think this is the song with Snoop Dogg. I love him, Uncle Snoop. Another vibe. Snoop Dogg is really 50, still rapping. We stand Uncle Snoop in this house. When I saw the track list and then I saw Snoop Dogg as a feature, I was like, it's kind of weird. But 
I told you, I feel like Kei Trinata can, can work with anybody. It doesn't matter how old or how young you are. Kei Trinata has a song that you can fit on. I mean, I mean, it's just so versatile as an artist and it's really being displayed on this project. So I feel like the people, cause Kei Trinata is kind of popping right now, but I feel like the people who are tapping into Kei Trinata, just cause like I've been wanting to do Kei Trinata for a minute and I've been saying that. So now that we have Kei Trinata and now he's like kind of putting Amine on, even though I feel like Amine should not have to get put on and maybe he's not even getting put on, but I feel like people who are not tapped in will want to tap in now after hearing how he's going crazy on this project. And I hope so because I've been saying since like 2016 that Amine is him. So like, what are we talking about here? All right, this is the last song. <laughs> this is called K&A and it's five minutes long, so. Louis in my cup, cup. Louis on my clothes, clothes. Louis smoking gay as jealousy. Be so fond of us presidential on my wrist. Now I'm the head of state. Get my weed out of state. Pretty bitches give me faith. On the knees like rolling trick. Control shit like scissors. Control shit like scissors. in the industry. The flow so clear. Play this shit in the limousine. Getting very, very pricey. Come on. Wow, that song was amazing. The way the beat switch was so smooth that honestly, if you were just casually listening and not really paying attention, you would have missed that. And it's like, hold on, is, is he rapping over a different beat? By the time you tune back in, whoa. Cause you know, sometimes it's like a and then the, the beat switches, but that was just like, it just, that's genius work right there. This album was amazing. They went 11 for 11. Just from the cover, I knew it was gonna be fire. And then it's just two, it's just two niggas who don't miss. So it's like, the drops have just been so like, people have been dropping shit just to drop it. And it, it's giving very much that because it's just like, why? Like no one wants to hear this. We don't want this. Where, where are the projects that we want? The other artists can't compare. So this is one of the best projects I've heard this year. I hope that after this project, like I was saying earlier, people really do tap into Amine and listen to his solo music because he has good music outside of Caroline, y'all. Let's broaden our horizons when it comes to Amine. Let's just give him a chance. Amine delivers every time and Kei Trinata delivers every time. So it's like, if you're not tapped into either of them for real, like you, you really should. This is the year of Kei Trinata. I'm just gonna manifest that they go on tour together because I will go. Anyway, if you all enjoyed this video, which I hope you did, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below, anything you would like. What are your thoughts on Kei Trinata? What's your thoughts on Amine? What's your thoughts on Kei Trinata, the duo, the project? Per usual, follow all my socials. They'll be linked in the description bio. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.